Hi. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Jane. Um, I'm here for like a super surreal unboxing today. Um, I have, as you can see, not one but two Blythes that I'm going to unbox and it is so crazy to say that. I've been just kind of in a um, state of <laughs> bewilderment about it, but long story short, I just had a birthday and it was kind of a big one. So um, my wonderful friend Lucy, who shares the Blythe hobby with me, by the way, uh, I've mentioned her several times. She said, you know, I would like to get you something big for your birthday. Uh, didn't you have your eyes on a couple of Blythes? I was like, yeah, but you know, you don't, you don't need to or anything, but I kind of had a feeling that she did. And, um, she specifically named checked two Blythes that I have talked to her about, uh, in the past several years when they've come out as to being like ones that I would like, but ones that are pricey, ones that I would have to save up for if I wanted to buy them for myself. I got this box. And this box was big <laughs> and I picked it up and I was like, this is really heavy for a Blythe. Like I was expecting a Blythe. And so I thought, oh, maybe there's like something else in there. Maybe, uh, uh, maybe Lucy also got some doll clothes or like, you know, some other fun little thing. Uh, <laughs> when I opened the box and I realized there were two Blythe boxes in there. I started crying and I got the giggles and I just was like crying, laughing, that kind of thing. And I messaged Lucy like respectfully, what the f <laughs> I posted a poll on YouTube that was like, should I do two dolls in one video or should two dolls be two separate videos? And I got like an even split. So <laughs> not helpful, but, um, I think I will unbox them at the same time right now and then like kind of decide from there whether to split it up or not. I don't know. So um, I would like to begin with the one I was kind of expecting. Um, we'll put we'll put her aside. Okay, so here's the first girl. I did open them up to take a little peek. Here's the box. I always have to, I always have to put the camera down. Okay. I know I have asked before if there's like a new Blythe smell because it just wafted over me. I know it's just like the scent of plastic. Mm. Yeah, here she is. I got a uh, Lady Panacea. Yes, she she's the green <laughs> she's the green haired girl. Of course, she's got this plastic on her box. We'll get her out of that in just a second. This box is gorgeous, green, pink flowers, as uh, woodland sort of theme. Here she is. She's um, a little turn to the side in her box. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. You can really tell that she has brown eyelashes. Oh, that's pretty special for me. I don't believe any of my girls have any, uh, brown eyelashes. I know that a couple of them are like the special fringed sort of lashes, but, uh, taking a look at all of her accessories in there. And she's got like a head piece sort of crown thing. Oh, I like that mold of shoe. I didn't know she had those shoes. <laughs> it's because her dress is super long, so I wasn't ever really looking at her feet in any of the pictures. Look at her eyeshadow. It's really rosy toned, which I love with her green hair. Okay, I'm gonna open the box and slide her out. this dress so much. As you might know, I just, I don't get dolls for their stock anymore, but this is beautiful. I think her stand is 
brown. I would guess that these are netted tights. Some beautiful earrings, wow. Her, her body is tilted differently than her head. Yeah, lovely violet chips. They're such a nice shade. They're, they are purple, but they're not like super saturated purple. They're a, a nice kind of muted purple. Um, plastic on her arms. That's good. I don't know why they <laughs> didn't do that for her poor uh, Zionia remembers. <laughs> it's not Zendaya, it's Zionia. Let's get her out. <laughs> I didn't realize that she doesn't have a ring, a pull ring. She has this leaf charm. It's not too heavy, really. Um, I love, 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 love this dress. Oh my gosh. I'm kind of wondering if I should take the dress off because it seems like she's got plastic underneath it. And I don't really know what that looks like. And I need to get this off of her head. So I will do that and I'll be right back. Okay. So here's what the back of her uh, dress looks like. There's a little collar with little flowers on it. Um, it comes open and I discovered <laughs> I didn't know about this but it was a delight a freaking delight to discover I don't know why <laughs> her little lace snickers <laughs> ah, I'm sorry to laugh like that it just it's such a delight it caught me it caught me off guard it made me so happy I love this dress so much I had no clue that I would because I'm so accustomed to just leaving my dolls in outfits other than their stock. And again, using maybe like shoes and maybe an accessory like a hat or whatever, but mostly <laughs> not using their stock. Little feet. It's long in back. <laughs> wow. Okay. She looks like her hair is so nice and tidy. It looks good, but let's find out what it looks like outside of these pigtails. And if I remember correctly, you can just pull them off. I think with other dolls I had just, I had started to cut and you can just pull them off, but I will have to put my camera down again. You know what this reminds me of immediately? Um, Especially as I was pulling it off, this one, it looks a little crispy. It reminds me of Easter grass, like the grass you would put in your Easter basket. Okay, so her, her hair feels pretty good. It doesn't, it looks greasier than it actually feels. Um, a lot of the time, you know, getting the girls out of these little pigtails and stuff, like, there's, there's some shedding and that is, in my experience, normal for any Blythe. Oh, I got another whiff of that Blythe smell, which again, I guess is just plastic, but it, it's, it's that kind of smell that, um, you don't smell all the time. So when you do smell it, you have this really strong association that I think it's going to look really, really good once it's kind of brushed. And I think just doing a warm water dip is like basic maintenance for a Blythe these days. You didn't have to do it. It used to be, but I feel like every Blythe I get past a certain date, you know, is, uh, is in need of a little loving touch, a little hair wash, a little warm water dip. 
I don't want to click these without you, click her eyes without you, so um, this always takes some interesting doing <laughs> to do it one-handed. Let's see, okay, so we've got these beautiful uh, lavender ones. Oh, flashes. Ooh, ooh. You know, I love, love, love brown chips on a blithe. So I'm, ah, uh, yes, super, yay. And this is really hard to pull, so I'll do it again. I feel like I'm gonna break it. I'm just noticing there's like a little, a little blemish right here on her eyeshadow, which is totally fine. <laughs> But I'm going to need to put this down to click her. <laughs> okay. It's a lot easier with two hands, as you can imagine. <laughs> Super blue, like a very dark midnight oceanic blue. Very hard to pick up on camera. <laughs> I cannot pull this. I, I really, I, I'm kind of missing the pull ring, to be honest. I feel like getting a good grip on that really helps instead of pulling on the string itself. I feel like I'm going to break this. <gasps> oh, I don't know if you heard me gasp, but oh my gosh, these like green, blue, what? oh my gosh, these are stunning, especially with the brown lashes. <gasps> Oh, they look so good with like her particular tone of blush and you know I love a blushy blithe and this pink eyeshadow and her brown lashes. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love it so much. Oh my god, she's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I just I can't. I can't. I can't. Wow, okay, um, let's get her stock out of her box and put it on her. Oh my gosh. Okay. That was a trip. It was so much work. It was such a delight. <laughs> okay. Um, so you probably saw me react to her stand, which is huge. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand. I'm kind of speechless about this stand. <laughs> Here are her little shoes. They are kind of a what shade would this be? Like coppery, bronzy? Um, I don't know. They're not quite the same color as her stand. I think they're supposed to be and they're really, really close, but they've got just the slightest greenish tinge to them, in my opinion, compared to this plastic. But um, I have several of these uh, molds. Um, they came in the uh, I Love Shoes red and white sets. Uh, so I really like them and I use them a lot. So I'm happy to, happy to have more and happy that she has those. And of course her headpiece, which is crazy. I haven't taken it out of this little plastic casing yet. I don't want to damage it. Um, I'll have to figure that out, out in a minute. Uh, she came with two stockings. I thought these were netted tights for sure, but I guess they're just little stockings, which, uh, great. <laughs> And then, here are her earrings. They are so cute. They're so pretty. These are a better match for this, for the stand than the shoes. <laughs> shoes are. I don't know if they're all supposed to match or what, but um, 
And here is her cloak, which is a lot, a lot, I guess not a lot bigger than she is, but it, it's big. So that surprised me, first of all, but also, wow, it's gorgeous. The hood is covered with embroidery and it is so pretty. It's these super muted pastel shades of pink and green. And like, uh, it's it's a neutral tone. It's kind of goldish, kind of champagne-y, uh, kind of light peachy. Oh, oh my gosh. I had no idea. <laughs> I had no idea that it was gonna be this detailed and pretty. It needs kind of an ironing, I think. And I'm thinking about storage of this. I keep all of my girls' stock in the same box, but this is way bigger than the box. So now I'm like, am I gonna upgrade the box? <laughs> or keep this in a totally separate place? But it's so pretty. I, I guess it uh, legit ties like this isn't like a thing you would snap together or whatever it's so pretty <laughs> ah. oh. I guess I'm actually not gonna put her in the cloak right now but I am gonna put her in the other things so let's do that sort of shell-shocked by how beautiful she is and how much I like almost everything she came with. Her little netted stockings don't fit super well, but I, I understand like the purpose of them is to protect her legs from the, from the skirt, which this color is exquisitely beautiful. Okay, but um... I, I do like her little headband. The pearl doesn't sit quite, quite right, but um, I don't really foresee myself leaving it on her very often. <laughs> I love her so much. Oh my gosh. Um, since I had kind of an inkling that came directly from chatting with Lucy, <laughs> Kind of an inkling that I was going to be getting her. I actually did think of a name for her and her name is Vesper. I don't know if any of you are the same as me, uh, but I have uh, synesthesia and specifically color grapheme synesthesia, which is uh, I see days, um, letters, numbers, months, all as colors and uh, this shade of green is um, similar to the one that I see for uh, F, V, and P, and W. So it had to be one of those letters to like go with her hair, right? Or else it would bother me. <laughs> Welcome to my Blythe family, Vesper. It's getting pretty crowded, but you are a most welcome addition, my beautiful sweet girl. Okay, do I have the emotional <laughs> wherewithal to unbox a second girl in a row? <laughs> I'm all set up, how can I not? Uh, so I think we should do it. And I think I will put uh, Vesper here. She can hang out with Ori. So let's, let's do it. I just stop and get a freaking drink. Um, this is what I mean about how much bigger <laughs> Lady Panacea's uh, Vesper's 
stand is then this is ice rooms stand and this is noticeably bigger it's wild to me what the heck <laughs> let's unbox girl number two i'm frankly overwhelmed um okay well this girl's name is on her box so you will shortly discover <laughs> who else i got and you will be like what because that's how I am. What? You don't have to tell me how absolutely lucky I am, how fortunate and how wonderful my friend is. She's, she's the best. And um, I'm so happy that I share this particular hobby with her. Uh, if not for her, I wouldn't really have had anybody to talk to about Blythe's back when I got into Blythe's back in the day in 2010. So, um, yes. Do you know what this clock reminds me of? Somebody might know. Uh, Chrono Trigger. It's only where I got my username, Maiden Suit, and my um, blog name, Pure Touch. The best game ever. So, um, I had mentioned Shelly Victorian and Lady Panacea both to Lucy a few separate times. Like I, there's no way I could get them. <laughs> um, so to have both all of a sudden is super surreal. <laughs> like one of those moments in my life where I'm like, everything's changed, everything's different now. <laughs> fighting, fighting, get her out. Ooh. gosh. Just looking at her box. Got these um, burgundy and purpley tones on it. Maybe it's indigo. Sure. I know the plastic is hard to see through, so let's, let's get it off. Oh my gosh. So sorry. Reflection, so sorry, so sorry. Don't know how to not get it on there. Oh, those boots, though. I like the way it has lace and the kind of cogs. Um, Corona Trigger Clock. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bust her out. Let's go. Her stand. It's like an indigo color. It's wow, wow. I think that these are little netted stockings as well, but black. How interesting to have a pair in white and a pair in black. Her goofy goggles. <laughs> Her goofy hats. Oh my gosh, though. Oh, the blushy cheeks. See, I, I just, mm, I'm a sucker for them. I love her eyeshadow too. Again, the just like the the tones of these are so appealing to me. This russet brown and uh, the pinkish red, reddish pink, whichever. I guess she she's got auburn hair. She looks like a redhead, but it's also brown. It's coppery brown. So I guess that would be auburn. See how this skirt works. There's a skirt and an overskirt. She's got tall boots. Mm, love that. Before I go any further, I just have to say that like I'm so blindsided by getting Shelly Victorian in addition to Lady Panacea. I don't have any idea what I'm gonna name her. Just like no idea whatsoever. I haven't thought about it at all. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna get her out of here. Okay, this is a slightly upsetting <laughs> discovery, but 
Um, her chin is quite stained with, I, I can only assume it's, maybe it was, it spent some time up here, uh, against her face. Um, I don't know if it's like tarnish or what but she does have a little bit of staining going on on her face. I would imagine that this is a fixable issue. Um, but it's like, it's, you know, it's a bit of a bummer to discover. Um, yeah, I pulled off her little pigtail coverings or whatever. Um, her hair doesn't seem to be in quite as good shape as uh, Lady Panacea's, but um, as always, I think just like a little comb out. It's it's such a rich color. I don't think it's coming across on camera at all. Um, it's a gorgeous color. Like a little deeper than Penny's. I think a comb out and a dunk in warm water. Boy, I've got, I guess, several girls that need that right now. Um, yeah, oh gosh. Honestly, stain aside, I love her and she's so pretty. <laughs> oh, this hair framing her face just makes me so happy. She has, um, Dear Lele Girl bangs. <laughs> pretty similar. Like, they're a little bit thinner, and they're cut uh, differently. Yeah, it's a little bit a little bit nesty in here. It's amazing that they can sell these dolls for so much, and this is how their hair comes, <laughs> like, <laughs> more often than not these days. Yes, okay, she has um, blue nails, which is so cute love that. I don't know if she has a, an outfit where I need to, I'll thread, where I need to take it off so I can get the plastic off her. Yeah. Yeah, she sure does. Oh, it's a whole, it's a dress. It's not a separate blouse. Oh, I would have loved to have had this blouse as a separate piece. It's so cute. Yeah, I'm going to, uh, get her little plastic bits off. She's also got plastic on her legs, which good because this seems like super stainy type material and um, not about that life. Discovery. She also has lazy underwear. <laughs> If you saw me um, rubbing at the insides of her legs, it almost looked like, you know, how you get prints on your face or your arm or whatever when you're asleep and you wake up and you have kind of like the indentations of clothes on you. Uh, it almost looked a little like that, except like I think it was, you can kind of see it right in here, but like I just kind of rubbed at it and it went away. So I don't know what it is exactly, pigment of some type, but it, it doesn't seem like it's like a permanent stain situation. I feel like I'm rubbing it right off of her, so I have no idea <laughs> what what's happening there. I now have mixed feelings about putting this back on her. Um, I feel like I'm going to put the little stockings on her first. Okay, aside from her dress, here are her boots. Kind of beautiful, honestly. <laughs> her little goggles. They have a minorly stretchy kind of ribbon looking thing on the back. 
Uh, she has little lace underwear. I don't know why I'm really tickled by these. I really like these. And her stand, of course her stockings, her stand is indigo. And it's interesting because it looks so blue from some angles and really purpley from other angles. <laughs> and here is her hat. It's got a little comb on the inside to help settle it on her head. Um, I, I do think this is a little goofy. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put all of it on her. Okay, here's the tea. <laughs> her blouse was, her dress, her dress, the blouse portion of her dress was so hard to get back on. It took me forever and I don't really understand the issue. Is it just that the sleeves are super fitted? It was this arm. I, I don't understand what the problem was. Um, ugh, strange. Um, so you might have seen me <laughs> getting after her chin area with um, a little bit of spit and my thumb. <laughs> uh, no shame. I actually think that I got a significant amount of it off. There's still a tiny, tiny trace, but she looks so much better. So, so, so much better than she did. I think the goggles are very cute. I cannot do that. The hat is silly. I really like her separate little black skirt. I'm glad they did that. Uh, she has the protective little netted stockings, which are great because this, um, this feels a little, I don't want to say sticky, but it does feel a little sticky. Uh, I do actually kind of think this is cute. <laughs> um, like even though the blouse is like so, it was so difficult to get on. And even with these little charms that I think are sewn to the blouse. That's what it looks like from the inside. So it's not a necklace. It kind of looks like a necklace. It's it's more of a brooch and chain uh, situation. Um, even with those hitting her precious little uh, cleft chin, I, I, I like it. <laughs> I like it. She's so pretty. I'm ready to see different eyes on her though. These are such a dark purple that they kind of look o opaque, just like an opaque, uh, you know, solid color tip. She's got the pole ring and it's uh, like a antique gold. So I'm going to give pulling it a try. It's always really difficult with one hand and you can think, um, hey, I could do that. <laughs> I challenge you to do it with one hand. Oh, look at these eyelids. Two girls with special brown lashes. Oh, orange. A little, a little bit of a jump scare. <laughs> Actually, I really like orange chips. So. So I, I like them. I think they suit. And gen like blue, you know, general blue. Um, I actually also like these on her. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, and like, oh, what color is this? This is like gray. I know it's really hard to see. The, the lighting's not very good in here. It, do, it does seem to be a 
medium tone charcoal gray. Boop. <laughs> um, what, which one do you guys like best? I kind of like the orange. Um, but I think like I might do an eye chip change or two on her because I feel like like a um, like a burgundy set maybe would be really pretty with her hair and kind of be a nod to her the colors in her skirt or like a indeed a, a darker blue. The purple actually might be my least favorite if I'm going to be totally honest, but um, that's because there's I can't really especially in this light I can't see it. I might like them better in like a daylight sort of setting. Oh my gosh, I'm so... I can't believe that this doll is in front of me right now, even with her little tarnished chin. I... I never expected to have this girl. <laughs> um, I thought she was going to be one of those, so it was just like, oh, I love her from afar, and um, that's as close as I'll ever get to having her, that kind of thing. I don't know a name. But, uh, you know, leave that to me. Let me, let me name her. Um, how fun. <laughs> how fun to have these two girls, but both of them have um, the brown fringy lashes. And both of them have uh, eye chips that uh, are purple. And, like, they kind of <laughs> go together in that, in that way. They're both little special girls that um, I'm so so grateful for. Uh, Lucy, you're such a doll yourself. Thank you so much. Um, I have loved 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 sharing this hobby with you and I hope that you can meet these <laughs> meet these girls in person someday. I'm so excited to go on to baby name websites <laughs> so I can look for names for her. I just have genuinely no idea. Um, if I come up with a name, I'll of course put it at the end here. Um, and I can't wait to take pictures of them. So if I take pictures, here they are now. Absolutely flabbergasting.